So I was just doing a follow up on my last video. See my last video where my car was only running on half the engine. I lost bank one, cylinders one, two, three, and four. Anyways, we got that problem fixed. You could just look at that video and see what I did to fix that. So I noticed a few things I didn't like on the car. Like I said, I just got the car and it's got about 100,000 kilometers on it. So it's been apart before. But one of the things I noticed on it was on my coil, uh, the coil connecting harness for cylinder number one, the clip was broken. So I got one of those on order. And I end up ordering both cam sensors for the intakes and the crank sensor as well. I decided because it was so cheap, I'm going to switch them or replace them anyway. But just an interesting note and a good way to save money, I would say. I just picked these up from my local supplier and they sent these standard professional quality auto parts from the local supplier. And just an interesting note about this stuff is when I started inspecting the, the new parts they are identical in every way to the Ford OEM parts in the down to the last detail of the actual Ford part numbers on them so this is an OEM Ford sensor brand new okay that's that's the new one here's the old one same Ford part number on it and probably about a quarter of the price I would say from standard so that's what you're getting when you get these these parts I've been through this before on my on another car I was fixing at a BMW in here and the BMW sensors were incredibly expensive I end up just finding out who made the sensors for BMW and ordered it from Amazon it's the exact same part so anyway, it's just interesting, and I'll pass it on to you guys. If anybody is ever doing these sensors, just have a look for this name brand here because it's the exact same sensor. Right, exact same Ford, Ford Motor Company part, same, those are the cams, and the crank sensors are right there. This is the new one, obviously, the, the old one, missing the O-ring actually there, so another little problem we picked up. Here's that harness for the coil so that it'll actually snap in. Before it was just like kind of plugged in to the coil. It was kind of just, the old one was just plugged into the coil but it wouldn't snap into place so there's a potential there to come loose. Maybe create a misfire in cylinder number one so I was able to get that harness from standard as well. So, I'll show you the part numbers here. That's the connector for the coil. And here's the intake camshaft sensors. The crank sensor is this one. And another thing I found when I was taking it apart. I took it out and checked the plugs on it, checked all the coils. The boot on this one, so this is actually number three cylinder. I don't know if you can see that. See how the boot's all kind of like folded up and torn and everything. And I tried to straighten it up, but it's been jammed in there for who knows how long. So I found out you can actually replace the boot set. Here's a brand new boot for it. And it comes with your, uh, it comes with these two springs, and it comes with the actual spark plug boot as well. So that was pretty cheap too, and same company, standard. And here's the part number for it. So just a couple of tips there. I'm gonna put all this stuff together and see how she runs.